Hello friends, today I'm going to share uh, the process I do for cleaning and organizing my purses. Now, as you can see here, there's quite a few on my desk. I believe there's about six of them here. This is not all the bags that I own. There are, I think I have about three more in my closet that I have not used recently. They're clean, they're empty, so there's no need for me to do any uh, maintenance on those today. Now, as you can see, um, these bags, you know, I, I love the way they look. This is my newest one. It's extremely pretty. I really like it. It's a nice big bag. Um, this one is really pretty. But as you can see, these are not expensive bags. Every one of these bags, I bought at New York and Company except for this one. This one... I bought at Target. I bought this one in uh, early February, maybe late January, and I bought this specifically to use on a trip I took to Traverse City, Michigan, which is about four hours from where I live here in Michigan. And uh, my daughter and a bunch of her friends went, and I went with them. It was a great trip, but that's what this was uh, purchased for. And, um, yeah, I just wanted something that I could wear crossbody-wise that was lightweight. And has anyone else noticed that bags are so heavy before you even put anything in them? I think it's just ridiculous how heavy they make purses empty by the time you've put anything in them it's like lifting a 20 pound weight <laughs> it's just crazy so this one it was about $25 it was at Target like I said it had a lot of um, pockets it has two side pockets in the front pocket there's a zip compartment on the inside and uh, and it was big enough to put everything in it that I require and I am the type of person that likes to have things uh, with me. I have extreme anxiety and I just sometimes just never, you know, with anxiety if you suffer from it also, you know that it's sometimes not something that you can uh, plan for. You don't know when it's going to hit. You can try to prevent it, but there's no guarantees and you never really know for sure. You know, you can't get up in the morning and say, uh, today I better watch I'm going to have an anxiety attack um, there's certain things that might you know uh, make you more susceptible but for the most part you never know so it just helps me when I can have what I need with me and that meant carrying something that wasn't super tiny I couldn't just have my wallet or a wallet sized uh, bag I had to have something that would hold, you know, more. And this was perfect. Now, like I said, I got all of these purses at, uh, all these other ones at New York and Company. And uh, their bags run about, I would say, six, I, as an average price, $60. Maybe a little less, uh, maybe a little more. But that's not even close to the price of, you know, the average handbag these days. The problem with that is, though, is that if you really like it and you start wearing it, you know, using it a lot, it's going to wear out a lot quicker. And it doesn't matter really, you know, expensive bag or not, you want them to stay clean looking and neat and clean on the inside also and on the outside so what I do is um, I try to make sure that when I switch purses I empty them completely and then if there's any uh, you know little pieces of paper or crumbs in the bottom I'll turn it upside down over a, a garbage can and empty you know whatever might be in there uh, like this one, I do have a, 
a bag. This is one of those, I can't even think of what it is, but the reusable bags. And that was in this purse. Sometimes I'll find a little change when I go through them. This one has actually the long handle to this white purse in it because I didn't want to use the long handle, so I just tossed it in that one. But um, lately I have been slacking on the maintenance of my purses. And I don't know if you hear the my cat in the background. She gets very vocal whenever I decide to record a video. And so she's putting in her two cents. But because these are not real expensive purses, I'm certainly not going to buy a leather cleaner because none of these are leather. So I use just a soft uh, utility towel. This just used to be a bath towel that, you know, when mine get uh, overworn, I cut up into utility towels. And today, the all-purpose cleaner I'm using is the Method uh, in the Honeycrisp Apple. And I love this one. I wish they had it all year round, but I believe this is one of their seasonal scents. So it's only available like in the fall and um, into the winter, I think. But fall is when it first comes out. So what I do is I do spray right directly onto the purse and give it a good wiping and I wipe the whole thing now for the inside I don't if it happened to get a stain I would uh, you know spot clean it but for the inside I don't really like to get it like you know I won't spray it or anything so that it gets wet with a cleaner what I do use though is my homemade Febreze and to make my homemade Febreze, I just put in a spray bottle some vinegar, some uh, filtered water, and whatever uh, essential oil that I have on hand. And for the homemade Febreze types, I like to use orange, lemon, or mint. And it just depends on the mood I'm in or what I have already made because I use that around my house to spray blankets, pillows, my couch, uh, you know, anything like that. I'll even give the carpet a light spray after I vacuum it. So what I'll do is I'll spray inside the bag and then I'll make sure it stays open so that it, you know, any dampness air dries and it keeps it fresh and clean. Uh, you know, I've never had the inside of my bag get stinky or anything, but, you know, you're keeping a lot of stuff in there and carrying it everywhere, and it it's, keeps it extra fresh. Now, this bag, I would spray the inside because it does not have a cloth a liner. This is the same, the inside of the bag is the same material as the outside of the bag. So I would wipe this one down on the inside and the outside and don't forget the handles so that's what I'm going to do now and then I will also show you a couple tips on how I organize my purses okay so as I said earlier my purses are not expensive and the they show wear and tear uh, much more quickly than a more expensive bag would. So as you can see here, uh, there's a string coming out here and here on the handle, there's this coming out. I like to check for stuff like that occasionally or when I see something. Now I pulled this a little bit so that was, it, I made it look a lot more uh, visible so I can cut it properly. But I will trim all this down as low as I can get it to make the purse look neater. Now, eventually, you know, if the purse really starts to fall apart, here's a little piece too, I'll have to get rid of the bag. But in the meantime, I want to extend its life as much as possible. So I check for things like this and trim them down, like I said, as close as I can get it without further ripping, you know, like making a rip in the actual bag or anything like that. 
Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I organize my purse and the basics of what I keep in my purse. First of all, I did want to show you my glasses. I wear glasses to see far and I have my sunglasses. I have a pair all the time that I keep with me and uh, I know those like those microfiber cloths that are for uh, glasses and electronics and things those are great I had one that was given to me when I got these glasses from optimize but for some reason I don't know where that went and quite honestly it didn't work as well as I thought it would anyway so I may have even thrown it away but what I did was, since I was cleaning my purses today, I went ahead and grabbed a clean white utility towel, took my glasses, and with uh, just glass cleaner, which I'm presently using the Method Mint uh, Glass and Surface Cleaner, I took uh, a couple sprays on the front and glass or back of the lenses and on the frames themselves gave them a good wiping and they're perfect they're nice and shiny clean I can see through them again and I did that with both pairs you never want to use anything paper based or abrasive on your glasses or your electronics so you don't want to use tissues or toilet paper or paper towel none of that and you don't really want anything but water or a glass cleaner you know or something that's specifically made for glass on your glasses because that could smear them or leave a residue or even scratch them or damage the lenses so I do keep these in my purse all the time I wish I had a uh, case for my sunglasses but I don't these will go in here now this pouch is for um, edible things I keep my gum hauls and then in here also I have this little container I got I think six or seven of these as a set off of Amazon and in this one I keep uh, a couple of Tylenol and um, and an Ativan so that's what I keep in there and then sometimes you know I have a, uh, a granola bar or something and I'll put that in, in here also then naturally I have my keys I have a pen my wallet my checkbooks then here I keep all of my store um, store cards that you can't seem to you know get even the uh, advertised price with any anymore without having your card so I keep these on this ring so they're all together and they're not on my uh, keychain and then this I got this pouch in the Target dollar spot I think it was three dollars and I really like it it's lightweight and it holds all my coupons this is what I keep my coupons in. It's quite full right now, but there's more room in it if I wanted more. And uh, at least bi-weekly, I go through and look through them, clean them out, throw out what's bad, and make sure that they stay organized. Because what I do is I don't have any dividers in here. I just have, um, like I'll keep Kroger ones in the front, and then regular uh, manufacturer coupons. Then I have some Bed Bath and & Beyond, and, you know, uh, I go back from there for anything else I might have. Then this bigger makeup case, I keep an antibacterial uh, dry, or not dry, but the, uh, you know, no rinse hand soap. <laughs> Can't even think what it is right now. That stays in there. And... I wanted to clip this onto my purse, but I'll be darned if I can get it. I just can't do it. I don't know. If you have a tip, please leave a comment below because I just, I'm missing something or 
I'm just weak or something. But anyway, then I keep tissue, keep a hairbrush, and this is my savior right here. I got this, uh, I believe, at Target in their um, in the health and beauty where they have the little sample and travel sizes, and it's a Tide Mini stain remover. Okay, remover. I don't. My voice went out there. Um, this has saved me more than once. I everything that I try to put in my mouth nine times out of ten ends up on my shirt. Um, it's just a big issue I have, or I spill coffee or whatever. So this uh, takes it right out, and yeah, it's. I'm gonna be buying another one real soon because I want I don't want to run out of this but I keep that in there I keep a couple uh, little mini sticky note pads and then I also have in here my oils I have a balance I have a sweet orange from plant therapy and I believe I have a doTERRA peppermint. Yep, that's what I have right now. These are ones that I like to keep with me wherever I'm at. So if I need them in the house, my purse is always with me naturally. And when I'm out, they're already packed. I don't have to worry about, you know, packing them into my purse or leaving right away and forgetting them and then needing them. So that's pretty much what I keep in here. It can change occasionally. Um, I will put my pen in there also because there's nothing worse than looking through a big bag wondering where something is. So that's what I keep in here. Now, I also keep extra uh, cosmetic bags in here. And I have these. I do subscribe to the... Um, I have an Ipsy subscription. So each month I get a new one. I've already uh, given some of them away to relatives. Uh, my mom wanted a couple. And uh, there were a few because I've been with Ipsy now at least. I think it's been two years or going on two years. So I am using them for uh, different things. You know, not just in my purse. But these are the ones that I've kept that I'm not using right now. And if ever I needed, you know, to add things to my purse, I would more than likely grab one of these and put it in there. Especially if it was something that, you know, would get easily lost in my purse. That would drive me nuts. So, and I do like bigger purses. So it makes it easy to find and keeps it organized and contained so and then I'll just give you one last look of all my oops one went flying off the chair but there is all of my clean purses here that's one that went, okay it's not gonna stay on the chair there we go um, there's all my clean purses they're all fresh no more little stains on them and I've sprayed the insides with my uh, lemon vinegar water, you know, my homemade Febreze. So they're all fresh and they're all ready to go. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you have any favorite uh, purse organizing or cleaning tips, please comment below. And if you haven't yet, I'd love for you to be my, new subs my newest subscriber. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.